That was one of my favorite yeah. posts that have ever been posted <laughs> on any social media platform ever. Rashard Mendenhall, former running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm sick of average white guys commenting on football. Y'all not even good at football. <laughs> can we please replace the Pro Bowl with an all-black versus all-white bowl so these cats can stop trying to teach me who's good at football? I'm better than your goat. It all started with a tweet from former NFL running back and University of Illinois man Rashard Mendenhall. I will say the conversation that that particular tweet uh -huh. has initiated around NFL circles, okay, is magical. Mm -hmm. This is something that has really could potentially pull people apart, has really brought people That's together. Right. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. While McAfee took the fun route. Hey, Illinois, this is your product. This guy sat in your classrooms. This guy was eligible to play, which means he got more than a 2.0. Oh, boy, flashback. I got a flashback to win. What happened with Rashad Mendenhall? Oh, that happened with Rashad Mendenhall. See that big white arm in there? Big Whitey went in. A man who is despised by many for his MAGA ramblings, Dan Dockich, went at Mendenhall. This is aggravating. As, as, as good as I'm feeling, I'm very frustrated because it feels like every single thing, like everything under the sun gets turned into a racial issue. I'd like to say welcome to 2023, but it's been this way for a couple of years now. Outkicks newest signing, Charlie Arnold, shows she's way out of her depth, but there's more. It's former NFL running back, Richard Mendenhall. He's proposing segregation in the NFL. No, he's not, you dits. Right-wingers reach for everything. This is just another example. Okay, here's what I think. If you're, if you're put in a position to be a commentator in the NFL, you're either A, really talented at your job, because play-by-play -play in color, are no easy feats. Believe me, they are very, very difficult jobs and very few people can do them well. I wouldn't be able to do them well. B, you're put in that position because you are so respected as a player, a legend in the game perhaps, uh, and that's why you have that job. This is also a really stupid point and I'm gonna tell you why. She is putting the entire argument in a box of national broadcasters. Charlie, do you understand how many podcasts there are? Do you understand how many YouTube channels there are? How many Twitter spaces there are? How many accounts talk about football these days? He's not saying the professionals that are working like a Greg Olson or a Terry Bradshaw. Get real. There's a lot to get to here first. Quarterback, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow. I think with two weeks to prepare, you allow practice tape to kind of dictate, hey, who we going with? You got to win your job. You got to earn your stripes in this team. Running back, Christian McCaffrey, none other. The great White Hope himself. He's the he's like the MVP of the NFL. Blocking for him at fullback. You got your, cho your choice out of Kyle Juszczyk or Patrick Ricard. You want a thicker guy in there for short yardage? Then you got Kyle in there if you want to change it up and get a little bit dynamic on offense. Now, when you look at tight end, we got all the tight ends, boys. We got Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, TJ Hawkinson. Pick your poison on which personnel you want, but we got the boys in the house. I mean, Sam Laporta, Jake Ferguson, we got all the tight ends. When it comes to offensive line, pretty balanced. However, I love the offensive line. You got to build through a center, a brainiac up top. We got Jason Kelsey, Jason Kelsey or Ryan Kelly. Then on each side of him, you got Chris Lindstrom or Zach Martin. And then on the other side, you got Quentin Nelson. Then at left tackle, I like Colt Miller. Right tackle, you like Lane Johnson. Now let's go to receiver, Cooper Cup. That's a no-brainer. The number one receiver is Cooper Cup, the uh, former Triple Crown winner last year. And then you flip uh, to the number two spot. I like Adam Thielen. Former NFL player Will Compton actually broke down the substance of Mendenhall's tweet. However, did anyone just like get the ick when they heard the second option is Adam Thielen? Nice player considering what he's working with in Carolina, good season. But if the second best wideout is him or Alec Pierce or Hunter Renfro, mm. <laughs> those are rough options, I'm sorry. You gotta play team defense out there. Rush our best three. You look at our best three, our pass rushers, we got a little rotation. TJ Watt, Max Crosby, Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa. Send in the best three, go hunt, boys. After we play sound run defense on first, probably second down as well. You move in the, to linebacker, heady, effort, intangibles. The Italian stallion himself, olive oil, Matt Milano. You got Logan Wilson, Josie Jewell, Alex Singleton. A lot of good cats to choose from. We're going to have to play, we're going to have to play ball, boys. 
Dude, they're getting cooked. They are getting shredded. All right, you go into the back end. Christian McCaffrey, he's gonna have to come around. He's gonna have to play both ways. I got him playing one safety spot. The other safety spot manned up by Harrison Smith. But we are gonna have to use Christian McCaffrey on, uh, on both sides. We gotta play zone against these boys. Now, you look at the cornerback position. The big question mark. Parts are obsolete on the all-white side with the cornerback position. We might just have to use the cat that got drafted out of Iowa that was a corner, and then I think Iowa's got another white corner that's just still in college, but we might just have to call him up to the big leagues. That's how bad it's been. Fun fact, Jason Seahorn is the last white corner to start in the league. December 22nd, 2002. It's been close to 21 full years since. Ouch. Now to put a bow on this, Charlie Arnold has proven, proven, through her own social media posts, to be a hypocrite. She has said that we need to protect women's sports and go against the LGBTQ plus community, and then she will post pictures of herself saying, you know, advocating for equal rights and supporting that community when she was with ESPN. So which one is it, Charlie? Secondly, this isn't segregation. Do you know what segregation is? Do you? This tweet was posted to stir up folks like you to get in a world of hurt. He is not advocating for separate drinking fountains. They are doing this as an exhibition and they're having fun with it. Richard Mendenhall, I, I mean, I don't know how long you've been following what he's been doing and you brought up the one thing that every single right winger will do to make their point, which is not a point, which is the fumble. And Dan Dockage might say it in worse terms than you, but follow this man's career path. Understand sometimes he might just say stuff in essence to grab headlines. Look at what he said about Big Ben, which may not be that far off considering he is actually good friends with the person that you guys view as the next coming of JC, my Jewish guy. So look, how I see this is, you guys don't have any policy. You don't have anything else to possibly get mad at. And instead of Will Compton doing a really thorough breakdown, what do you do? Oh, can you imagine if there was somebody on our side who said something like this? Charlie, I feel bad for you. I really do. Like you gave up so much with ESPN when you were like the fourth string host at first take. And now you're in like this sad place at OutKick and it's just not going to last. So I am curious to see you. Like, do you go like full Tommy or do you scale it back and try to get back into sports? Honestly, going to love seeing it, but also understand nuance. Look up the definition of segregation. Understand that every point you are trying to make is going to fall on deaf ears.